What's up guys? Today's video is going to be another Get Healthy With Me video. As you guys can tell by the title, this video is all going to be centered around your booty. So this is kind of an at-home workout that I like to do. Like I said in my disclaimer when I first started this series, I am not a fitness professional. So this is just workout stuff that I found like on Pinterest and other workout sites that I found that I've just been doing for the past few months. So I figured I would share it with you guys since you guys are all asking. So I'm going to show you some things that help lift and tone your butt. Um, to make it perky and big because we all want that now, don't we? <laughs> Sorry my voice sounds like a man. I have a terrible cold and cough and it's just like the worst timing ever for this to happen. How I filmed this workout video is beyond me, but I did and I really hope you guys like it um, because I was like wheezing through it. Thumbs up for another workout video like this. I think I'm going to do abs next. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is put your hair up. I really like putting my hair up into a ponytail. And then next, I'm going to lay down a yoga mat. Obviously, if you have carpet, you don't necessarily have to, but wooden floors, they are great for it. And now I'm lacing up my Nikes. And before anyone asks, my sports bra is from Victoria's Secret. It's super, super comfy. And my pants are from Target. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is definitely warm up. You can either jog in place or run around your neighborhood if it's nice out, but you really want to get the blood flowing and get your heart rate up to make the exercise a little bit easier and more effective. You can also do about 50 jumping jacks and you should be good to go. The next step is activation. I have about three different exercises that I do to activate my muscles and get them ready for the main exercise, plus they really help tone the area that I'm focusing on. Okay, so this first one is called the glute bridge. Basically, all you're going to do is lay down onto your back, and with your feet underneath your knees, all you're going to do is push your hips up to the ceiling. What you want to make sure that you really keep in mind with this exercise is that you want to keep your hips really, really high every time you push up, and that you want to squeeze your butt cheeks together because that's where the toning is going to come from. So all I'm doing is continuing this motion 20 times, and then I'm going to rest and then repeat it two more times, making it three sets of 20. This next one is called the lying side clam. Basically all you're going to do is lie onto one side, bend your knees, and all you're going to do is open and close the top leg. You want to keep it slightly elevated, but you want to keep your back feet together so you don't want to like kind of make it fly all over the place. And you're just going to open and close them in a clam-like motion. You're really going to feel this in your butt. I felt it almost instantly. But another way to do the clam is to do the knee to heel method, where you're basically just going to put your legs in knee, heel, knee, heel. You're just going to connect them that way. Um, it's just a different way to do it. So all you have to do is count heel to knee, heel to knee 20 times, and you're only going to do it two separate times, of course, resting in between sets. So once you've completed one leg, then I'm just going to slide over to the other side and do the exact same thing on the other leg. Like I said, you can either just do the traditional clam or you could do the heel to knee method. To be honest, I prefer the heel to knee. I just think it's a little bit more fun and I can definitely feel it more. Um, so I'm just doing the same amount of repetitions and sets on that side as well. This next one is called the lying hip abduction. It's very similar to the side clam, but the top leg is straight. So all you're going to do is take that top leg and lift it high into the sky, keeping your leg very straight, squeezing your butt because you really want to feel those muscles burn. You also want to make sure that your foot isn't touching the ground when you go down. You really want to feel the contraction of your muscle going up and down and really forcing it instead of hitting the ground or using it as a force. So, like I said before, all you're going to do is go 20 times, and then you're going to rest and go another 20 times. Super easy, you're only doing it twice, so but you definitely will feel the burn. So I'm doing that exact same thing on the other leg, lifting it high into the sky, making sure everything feels tight. You really, really want to use your muscles to lift that up and down. And like I said, you're going to do 20 on this leg, rest, and then do another 20, and then you're good to go. So now that you've activated your muscles and they've began the toning process, now it's time for the main exercise. So I've been doing about three different exercises that are considered main exercises to tight and lift my butt. This first one is just a basic squat. So all you're going to do is squat down 20 times and then times that by three. Now when you are squatting, you want to make sure that a huge part of it is that your knees aren't going over your toes because then you're not doing it right. So what you kind of want to imagine is that there's an invisible chair and you're sitting in it that's super low to the ground. So just imagine sitting into a chair and I, you'll probably figure it out just as long as you make sure that your knees don't go over your toes. 
Also, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can definitely hang on to weights. This next one is wide squats, and it's basically identical to a regular squat, except you're just going to widen your stance a little bit. So it's going to be a little bit farther than your shoulder, length apart, and all you're going to do is the same squat down motion. Remember, don't let your knees go over your toes. Imagine sitting in a chair. This one feels a little bit more stable, in my opinion, um, so it's easier to squat down, and you can definitely feel the burn. So this one, again, you're going to do 20 squats and times that by 3, and uh, yeah, you're definitely going to feel it by now. <laughs> also, don't forget to rest in between your sets. It really helps. This last one is called the Bulgarian Split Squats. All you're going to need is a chair or some sort of elevated surface. And I just put my back foot on it like so. And then all you're going to do is squat down. Putting your hands on your hips really does help make sure you balance okay. Um, but like I said before, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up and down 20 times. And I'm going to repeat that on each leg three times. And after this whole workout, since this is the last exercise, this one's going to be the hardest and you're going to feel it like crazy. Now the last but very important part is to stretch. You really want to stretch out those muscles that you've been working, so I'm just going to do a few stretches here, and that will complete my butt workout that I do pretty much like every other day when I go to the gym or I'm at home. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know the next workout video that you want to see on my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!